My sister's helping me. <laughs> no paparazzi. <laughs> that one's kind of heavy. We won't. Damn. Do you think you just help me bring it in? That's it. Yeah, like just in the lobby. Like that's it. Don't you need to watch it? Yeah, but I'm gonna have to look through my stuff anyways down there. Hi guys. So it may be pretty loud, but I got through CSA for the first time in forever. Newark Airport, which is the airport I usually fly out of when I'm going back to school, the TSA line was empty. Like I feel like nobody is here right now. And that's a good thing because usually it takes like an hour and a half to get through TSA here, but it took like five minutes, so I'm really shocked about that. But um, I'm about to go. I'm like two hours early. No, I'm like an hour early because boarding doesn't start until 10.30 something. So I'm going to just like sit around, get Starbucks and like eat at a cafe. And then my flight takes off at 11.29 and we should get to Chicago by 12.42 Chicago time. Also, check the view. That's New York. And this is the rest of the airport United section. Sorry, did I say something wrong? Pardon me for breathing, which I never do anyway, so I don't know why I bothered to say it. Oh, God, I'm so depressed. So I'm in my apartment now and it's like 3.34 so I've been here for like an hour and a half already. Let me show you guys the view because it is so nice here. So this is the view from one of the windows in my room. You can just see downtown. Oh sorry about that. The Sears Tower. And this is the rest of the room. I do share my apartment room with somebody and then there's another person. So this is my side. I'm thinking of moving this bed where the desks are because I do want the little privacy thing. But I'm going to wait until my roommate comes back. For now, this is my closet. And I have a lot of clothes to unpack, specifically in this box here. So I'm about to do that and then I need to go get things from Target. I have a package that is supposed to come, or it's, it's a delivery, it's a Target delivery. It's supposed to come like in the next 30 minutes to an hour. So I'm gonna stay here until then. But once I get it, I'm gonna go to Target again and pick up a comforter set. And I'm gonna pick up like just some little miscellaneous items. Like I need shower gel and stuff. And then I'm gonna go grocery shopping. Nobody else is in the apartment though. Like. I've already seen the other roommate, but the girl that I live with, I haven't seen her all day. So she's here though, because like her stuff has moved in, but I just don't see her. So I'm going to unpack my clothes. That's all I'm unpacking right now because the other things I need to see. And I have a lot of things in storage. Um, it's stored with um, one of my friends from last year. So I need to wait until she comes back from her house to get it. And she's coming back like September 5th and it's the third. So. I'm gonna be without a pillow and some other storage items for a while, but it's okay, like, we we'll figure it out.
I'm in downtown Chicago right now, and I'm about to go to Trader Joe's, which is like across the street, and it's like 6.30ish. I wanted to go earlier because um, it's kind of cloudy today and dark already, and the sun's supposed to set at around 7.20. So I don't want to be out too late because this is downtown. Like if it was Lincoln Park, which is where I lived last year, I wouldn't really care. But it's downtown. So trying to stay safe, I'm not getting too many things because I do have a meal plan. But um, my school's food really sucks. So I don't want to rely on it too much. So I'm going to get like a few things like sausage, egg. You'll see when I make like a haul when I come back home. Hey guys, so it's the next day and um it's like 1.15ish p.m. I really planned on waking up early, but I knew it wasn't going to happen because this summer I've been waking up at like 1, 2 p.m. on a good day, 12. But right now I'm getting ready to unpack the rest of my things. I was so tired yesterday and like just so exhausted from moving in all by myself that like I just didn't want to go and do more. Plus it was getting dark pretty quickly, but now that I'm starting earlier in the day, or like not earlier in the day but you know like it's pretty light outside even though it's like raining i am going to be able to do more of what i need to do i still need to get soap i mean look at the bathroom oh, just bumped into something look at the bathroom there's no soap um i don't have a shower caddy because it's with the person i'm storing my stuff with and she's not coming back until tomorrow so my soap is just there um i went grocery shopping at trader joe's and i can show you guys what i got but I just kind of feel like it was an unsuccessful shopping trip. Sorry, did I say something wrong? Pardon me for breathing, which I never do anyway, so I don't know why I bothered to say it. Oh God, I'm so depressed. All right, so I fit all the toiletries that could fit in the cabinets in the bathroom, but I realized that some of the things that I put there, I wanted to put on my desk. For now, I'm going to finish unpacking the toiletries into my closet. So this is my closet now. You guys can't even see anything. Okay, so this heap of clothing over here is basically stuff that um, needs to be hanged up, hung up with hangers. And the hangers are in storage, so I don't have that right now. So they're just here, but when I get them, they're gonna go like here and they're gonna go up there. Then I just have graphic tees, nicer tops kind of, not graphic tees. And then graphic sweatshirts up here. I have only like four. I only have four, but they're all the way up here. And they're all the way up here because I don't need them right now. It's really hot and humid. So I don't need to worry about that. Then I just have my bottoms, which I don't have a lot of. And then this is like, dumb. These are my hair stuff, and then I also have deodorant and lotion. So I'm going to put a few things in here. And then there's another one that's for underwear and bras. And then down here, you guys can't even see that. Just know that there's gym stuff down here and then socks. Did the oil spill? Freak, the oil did spill on the plane. That's why I put it in this little bag, but I'm not even gonna be using this for a while because my hair's in braids. But I have grapeseed oil. So that can go in here because it's a hair product. Then I have bobby pins, comb, brush. I think I'm gonna keep the like skin stuff out because I just want everything in one place. Then I have my hair cutting scissors and these like little clips that I'm gonna start using because bobby pins are kind of a hassle to use. Not really, but I just like these clips a lot more. I am in my room. Ooh, I look really bad. I'm in my room, dressed for the day, wearing my fanny pack, and I'm on FaceTime with Lauren. She sees me FaceTime. <laughs> Hello. Hey. I'm eating some leftover Chipotle, and then also mixed with like this chicken that my like apartment complex sells in their cafe it was supposed to be like a chinese kind of meal and it came with like fried rice with vegetables and that rice was horrible so i didn't eat that rice after a while but i'm eating the chicken 
but i'm just gonna finish eating um i've unpacked a lot of things there's still things that are not like put away completely but i just needed a break to eat and talk on the phone with my best friend i will talk to you guys later when i'm done eating i first want to show you guys what i got from trader joe's yesterday so i mainly was looking for breakfast stuff because i don't really plan on using my meal plan unless i'm on campus the two days that i'm going to school or the two days that i have classes so the first thing that i got was this instant oatmeal, the cocoa and sea salt one. It's really good, I've had it before, I love this one, so I just got it. I was gonna get steel cut oats where you like make it on the stove, but this is just so much easier to use, so I just was like, why not? Then I got this granola, which I also really enjoy, and I usually use it with yogurt, I'll show you which one in a second. Then I got organic unfiltered honey, this is also what I use in my yogurt bowls. I usually just put like yogurt, granola, and honey. It's the best breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snack. It's just the best, like it's so good. One dozen organic brown eggs. This Italian sausage, there's six. Then I got corn tortillas from Trader Joe's. Um, I really like these. I usually make them with burrilla tacos or I'll like cut up sausage, cut up these, and then put egg and it's like this little breakfast thing. The last thing that I got was this organic, plain, non-fat yogurt. All right guys, so I wanna show you guys what I got from Target today. I first got like this water. I also got a Brita water bottle too. This set, it's a cookware set, and I'm going to set it up, not set it up, I'm gonna unpack it in a second. <laughs> Tuesday afternoon and I just got back from a long morning <sighs> at Northwestern so basically I'm a part of this program it's um foundations of health today I went to Northwestern University which is all the way up in Evanston it's like 40 minutes from here I completed this study they took my vitals like blood pressure heart rate all that type of stuff measured me they weighed me all that type of stuff what it is is keeping track of like my health throughout the year. They're trying to see what like having supportive relationships in your life does for your health, if that makes sense. Before I even went to the school, I had to complete this whole questionnaire that basically asked me about my mental health and my relationships with other people and how that affects my mental health. Anyways, I was there, I had to wake up at like 7.30 this morning, left by around 8.20 to go to Evanston, and then I got there around nine and I did not leave until 11.30. Then I went to Lincoln Park campus to get some of my storage. Remember earlier in the video, I was saying that one of my friends from last year had my stuff, so that's what I just dropped down, but that's not even all of it. Um, apparently her mom has the rest. So I'm hoping that I at least have my necessities for now. So these are the two boxes that I have here. Let's see what's in them. These are my storage boxes, so I'm going to be storing them. Done. So this is the first thing. This is just this backpack. Then I finally have a pillow. I've been sleeping with this little pillow for three nights and it hasn't been fun and it's stained. So I don't know if you guys can see the stain. I don't know what happens to that, but I don't even care because I'm using pillow case. Then I finally have two knives. She has my rug. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, this is like nothing. Um, I'm still missing my lamp. I'm pretty sure I'm missing another pillow. And then I'm missing my hangers. I really need some hangers. But at least it's stuff that like I don't really need in the next like 
couple days. So yeah, I'm still missing stuff. Um, that's great. If she had bought that really big box, I would have been set. I don't study in my room, so I'm not too pressed about having a lamp right now, but I would love to have some hangers because I have a bunch of stuff just sitting in my closet that needs to be hung up. And then my winter coat is also there, but I don't have to worry about that for the next like two or three months, but it would still be nice to have it. And then I'm trying to think about what else I have that's over there. I feel like I made a list on my phone before I went back home last year, but um, let's just hope that I get this stuff within the next week. I don't know. I just really wanted to start school with all my stuff here. Definitely next year I'm going to be storing in like regular storage and not with somebody. I mean, I'm grateful that she was able to store my stuff for me, but um, it's just a lot easier when you like don't have to rely on somebody like that lives pretty far or not pretty far, but you know, like a professional storage unit that is close to my school so that I can just get my stuff and get it going. <laughs> these views also the lighting is like really good here so be prepared to get a lot of vlogs in this spot especially after i decorate it i mean like we decorate i'm not gonna be the only one obviously but i have some things in mind for this place because i really do want to host like people here now i'm just waiting classes start tomorrow and actually at three o'clock there's like a welcome thing at another campus at the other campus in lincoln park that I might go to, but I need to see who's going to that because I don't want to go alone. So I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to show you guys some of the amenities that come with this apartment. Mm -hmm. 